In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make both a work and a personal digital planner in ClickUp, which is my favorite tool. And I promise you by the end of this, you are gonna be obsessed. So hello, hello, if you're new here, my name is Amanda Colby and I am a business coach and an online educator for service-based entrepreneurs, helping them grow their online business and personal brand using social media. So on this channel, you're gonna find tons of videos and content all about marketing, sales, entrepreneurship, and the digital nomad lifestyle as well. Because for me running my own business, I also happen to travel the world full time, which makes for some really fun content that you could check out on the channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video to help us creating more content for you. So let's talk digital planners. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're like me and you love like highlighting, color coding, like that's your love language. Me too, so I get you. So I wanted to do this video because I love ClickUp, and if you aren't familiar with ClickUp, I've got a tutorial here that you can watch that breaks it down and shows a little bit more of like what its capabilities are and how you can use it as an online business owner. I wanted to do this video too that just more specifically shows you how you might be able to use it in a very simple form, especially if you're just starting off using this tool as like an actual digital planner because it helps so much to stay organized, especially as an entrepreneur, when you have 50 million things that you need to be doing every day. And before I flip my screen around and kind of show you guys a couple different ways that you can organize this, if you're also wondering how I plan my week, how I really stay productive between ClickUp and Google Calendar and kind of what that planning process is beyond just like how do we set up a digital planner in ClickUp, also check out this video here where I walk you through how I plan my week as an entrepreneur. Okay, so let's start with a work to-do list and then we'll get into like a more personal digital planner. So for work, as you can see over on the side here, I have a ton of different spaces. And if you click into any of these spaces, you'll see tons of different lists. So this is a pretty, I have a pretty complex setup for ClickUp. One, because it's taken me a while to get here. And two, because I have a large team and a seven figure business. So we have things very, very niche organized. Um, but if you are just trying to start off using ClickUp or if you have a smaller business, you want to just get into the routine of getting some stuff down in a very simple way. Simple is not bad. In fact, simple is good at every level of business. Um, but a couple ideas to just spark how you might want to customize organizing things is just start by making a work list. And this could even be a mass work list if you have like not as many things to do in your business. Maybe you're a solopreneur. Um, ideally, I would recommend you having a list for like um, social media, a list for every project or type of task that you're doing just to keep things a little bit more organized. And then you could organize it in a couple of different ways. So as you can see here, if you have each type of project, we could have kind of some key info or reminders. Um, these are different statuses here. We could have one-off tasks and recurring tasks. Um, and maybe that's how you set it up. Or if you have a certain type of project that has different phases, then we would wanna make these statuses the different phases. So I'll show you an example of that in a minute. Um, another way that you can do this, so in ClickUp, you can view things in a board view or a calendar view as well. So a lot of people like to just make a list and it's just one long list of all the tasks they need to do. They'll assign it a date and then they'll assign it either up next or like in progress and completed. So you can just kind of see stuff that way. Um, for me, one of my favorite ways to do things, no matter what list or what section they're on, is making sure everything has a due date. Um, because when things have a due date, you can always work out of a calendar view and just see kind of what you need to focus on that day. And also, all of your tasks that you assign, no matter what list or anything you're on in ClickUp, will get pulled to your everything tab, which is right here, show everything. So if I show everything, as you can see here, this is what it looks like. And it's all these different colors because it's from all these different lists. But this is actually how I work every single day is I just come here, I've got my list of to-do list items and I check them away so I can mark complete. So that is a way to get started with some work tasks. Now let's look at another way that you can do this. It's a little bit more specific for work tasks. Um, so for example, with my podcast, like I said, I have different phases of my podcast. So for us, it worked best for us to say, okay, what's up next? What's in progress? What's with our editor? And then we also have some custom fields over here um, where for us, the different phases of this are, it might be in progress, but it might be being outlined or recorded. Then once it moves up here, it's always going to be editing and then it's going to be posted live. We also will note, is this a solo episode or a guest episode? So you can customize all these and you can watch my other ClickUp video that actually is a ClickUp tutorial to show you more about these capabilities with ClickUp. 
But with this as well, I'm able to view the calendar view and see when all of the final episodes are going live. So you've got a lot of different viewpoints and ways that you can organize the information, ideally custom to what type of work projects you have. So last thing for you on the work front, is that I like to keep a running list. So I'm sure you are very similar to me in that I have a million thoughts going through my head at all different times and I have to have somewhere to put them. So I don't always wanna sort through what project is this for or where does this need to go? So I always have one list that for me, I just call Amanda and it's got a couple different sections that I find really helpful. So I have it set up where I have to do's, I have reminders, I have some personal stuff, things that I want to learn, uh, things I need to plan, just then this is kind of my like banked up backlog of list of just future projects I need to be working on that I you know need to think about. Um, and then maybe like random ideas. So on the side here, what you can see is for me, I've decided to notate this by month. Now it doesn't assign it a certain date, but that way I can categorize it and say, okay, what are all these things that I kind of want to tackle or revisit in November? Um, once I assign them a date, then of course they'll pop up on my calendar, but I'm also able to view this by the month view um, and sort it. So if I assigned it November, now I can see no matter if it was learning or a to-do item or whatever it is, all the things that I've committed to for November. So this is kind of a fun and simple way to organize your brain dump and all those random thoughts um, in your head. Um, another last way that you can do this, because it's really just helpful to see different ways to organize information, is to have a brain dump list and it's a little bit simpler like this. So it just says, what am I doing now? What am I doing in the next 30 to 60 days? And what am I doing later? So again, this is so you never for forget anything and you can always um, kind of have those big projects or big random ideas organized. Okay, so now let's chat about your personal digital planner on ClickUp because ClickUp uh, just has so many great uses. So I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can organize your personal to-dos in ClickUp. So the first one is gonna be by date. It's very, very simple. So we are basically gonna have a to-do list. So let's say get cat food, call, um, insurance, I don't know, all the, all the terrible things we have to do that are personal tasks. Um, I don't know, water, the plant, this can be whatever you want. Okay, so we've got our certain tasks here. And since all of these are gonna be assigned to you, um, you can either just delete this column or automatically assign all of them to you. If you assign them to you, that will help them show up on your everything calendar. If you don't need them on your everything calendar, then don't assign them to you. We can either mark priority or not mark priority. So we could say, okay, this one's really urgent. We need to do this. But what's gonna be important is that you give it a date. So let's say this needs to be Tuesday or Monday. This is the 24th and let's do this on. 26. Okay. So what we are going to do, since this is just going to be one giant to-do list of all of these things is let's actually add a few more tasks here. We'll add some more for Monday and one for today. Okay. So we are going to come here to group right now. It's grouped by status, but we only have one status and we are going to group it by due date. If you give it a minute, it will change. And as you can see now it is going to do, you're going to have to hit save in order to save this view. And so now it will have all of your to-dos and tell you exactly what you need to do today, Monday, Tuesday, and you can simply drag and say, mm, nope, you know what? I'm going to do this on Tuesday. That can be how easy it is. And again, you can hide this or you can even add some custom fields, which I show you how to do in my ClickUp tutorial video. So this is number one way that you can organize your personal to-do list. Um, you can also do this in a board view if you like that better. And we can do the same thing where we're going to group this by due date. So you can see today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, etc., And you can keep scrolling to see all the tasks that you need to do. And of course, you can view this on calendar view. So these are all going to pop up here and you can just look at what you need to do. Okay. So this is number two way that you can organize your personal to do's in ClickUp. So for this one, we have made a status for all the different days of the week. Okay. So this is going to be similar. Um, so we could add this for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all of the days. We can still assign it a due date and a priority. Um, you can even have like a custom field here. Um, if you don't want to actually assign it a person and just say this one is in progress, this this is um, up next, this is done, whatever it is, if you wanna track that, other than just of course hitting complete so it disappears. So the reason this is just a little bit different here is Monday obviously is always gonna be Monday and it the way we had it sorted before by date is actually by date. So this will change and say today, um, et cetera, and it will always say like just everything in the future. Um, whereas this is a little bit more of uh, repetitive where you're gonna have to build out Monday through Friday, but all of 
a sudden when it's Wednesday and you need something for next Wednesday, um, then you kind of run out of spaces. So for me, unless you're doing a lot of repetitive tests, like every Monday you do this, I don't love this view as much, but I know some of my clients have liked it because it's just really cool to say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you just kind of plan your week on, on Sunday. Um, you could still assign it dates here and then view it in your calendar view or board view, um, much the same as we were just looking at before. Now they're just kind of labeled like that. Okay, so my third suggestion for you for organizing all your personal to-dos is by categories. So now we're gonna set these uh, statuses as categories instead of days of the week or just a giant to-do list. Um, so for you, maybe it's like self-care, kids, how else personal. I mean, you could technically make a work list this, this way if you have a small work list and say, you know, social media, admin, you know, et cetera. Um, and then again, we can assign them all to ourselves if we want, um, add due dates, add any other uh, columns here. Um, and if you assign due dates to them, you can just look at this in the calendar view. So that way it will show you what you need to do every single day still, even though it's technically not organized by like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you work out at the calendar view, it will always just show you what's today, what's tomorrow, et cetera, as long as it has a due date. Now, last thing I wanna show you with your personal to-dos, moving this back up here, is ClickUp has some really cool features such as a whiteboard. Um, you can also embed certain things here. And for personal to-dos, maybe you might use a mind map. Um, but for me, the whiteboard is the coolest new feature of ClickUp that you may want to do for personal to-dos. So if you ever like just jotting down random notes or kind of you know mapping something out, you can drag over shapes um, and and let's say, you know, you can make uh, charts this way. You can draw an arrow. Um, you can also add a sticky note. So you could just have a bunch of sticky notes here. Reminder to do um, X. So you can also draw on here and pick your color and say, hello. <laughs> um, or just like draw an arrow to something. So there's so many cool things you can do with this whiteboard feature. Um, and again, it's very new to ClickUp. So you may like this almost as like a little journaling place um, just to keep a bunch of notes and organize certain thoughts in a fun way. So as you can see, there's so many fun ways that you can organize all of your information in a very simple way to start using ClickUp and start like having all of your ideas in one place, schedule it out so that you wake up and know exactly what to do every single day. So don't forget this video is going to help you so much, not only now having your digital planner, but now knowing how to plan your week. So definitely check out this video here where I walk you through how I set up my entire week and plan my week as an entrepreneur. And if ClickUp is still feeling a little new for you or you wanna see like all the other amazing capabilities that it can do, check out my other video here that walks you through an actual tutorial of ClickUp. So I hope you guys love this video and just are excited to go like get signed up and create your digital planner. Um, if you are looking for some ClickUp templates, you can actually steal a bunch of my own. So check the links below and we've got some awesome ClickUp templates for you guys to snag for yourself. And if you are a entrepreneur who is starting their business or scaling to that six figure mark, check out our link below where we've got our signature program that helps you not only get on top of all these moving pieces that you're having to juggle as an entrepreneur, but learn marketing, sales, getting clients, onboarding processes, click up even more extensively, like how to actually manage all the things that you're doing in your business. It's truly an A to Z program to help you scale to six figures, quit your job and go full time in your business called Laptop Lifestyle Bootcamp. So check out more information below because we are always bringing in new groups of people. So thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help us creating more content for you and check out some of these other videos here where you can check out uh, things about marketing, sales, building your online business, launching, Instagram, literally everything.